a 400-level female student of the Obfemi Walawo University, E-Life, Osun State, Oinlola Otomi, alleged to have attempted flushing her newborn baby down the toilet at Moemi Hall of Residence in the university, last week, has refuted the report, saying it was untrue. The nursing mother, who has been certified alongside her baby to be medically fit by doctors at the institution's health center told National Mirror that her case turned out in that manner because of her inexperience as a mother. She said the delivery of the baby was her first experience and she did not know that she was being pressed for the baby, and had only gone to the toilet to defecate. I was running stool overnight and because of that, I visited the toilet frequently. On that fateful morning, I had gone to the toilet to defecate just like I had been doing previously, but surprisingly it was a baby that came out into the closet. I didn't feel any pain to suggest I was to deliver of a baby. So, I was confused and I didn't know what to do next. I was also bleeding. It was one of my friends and roommates who knew I was running stool, Satop who, came to look for me in the toilet, having stayed there unnecessary long. She too was surprised at the turn of event and raised the alarm which attracted an elderly woman, who is a school cleaner, for assistance. As a matter of fact, I was scared by the development because I was not expected to deliver now, but next month according to scan. So, I did not attempt to kill my baby, neither did I try to abandon him nor run away as people were made to believe. Moemi Hostel's toilet is a public one where students residing in the hall come almost at the same time either to fetch water, take their bath or do any other sanitary things. So, students were everywhere while I was in the toilet. Just like those around were scared about what they saw and the cleaner was brought into the matter also because she is an elderly and experienced mother. She was the person who brought out the baby from the toilet closet and brought two of us to the university's health center for medical attention. Now, the nursing mother has been discharged alongside her baby from the school's health center and she told National Mirror that she would ensure she gives adequate care to the newborn. Believing that it is only God who knows the future of the infant and has left everything in his hands, Oin Lola said the news about the baby had given her undue popularity. With what happened, especially about the news revolving round the delivery of the baby that went round the town like a wildfire, I can now call myself a celebrity. I have never in my life been interviewed by any press man. The news about the incident has gone round the world. It is even the latest news in and outside or campus. So, I am happy and grateful to the Almighty God, who keeps me and my baby alive and I pray that he will make my baby do well in life and greater than me, she concluded. Oin Lola from Osun State is studying agricultural extension and rural development. She is currently doing farm work as part of the requirement to obtain a degree in the five-year course of study from the university. However, efforts by National Mirror to speak with the father of the newborn, Oyu Wolmosop, a 400-level mechanical engineering student of the university was to no avail as he was writing exam.